What? Did you think it was real? Gladly, it is not real. But you are not alone, bro. Initially, I thought it was real too. Until I opened the comment section. And guess what? There are many like us who thought it to be real. That's how realistic the games are these days. So stick around. It's going to get crazy here. Welcome back to the fifth episode of the Next in Tech series. I'm your host, Varshit, and in today's episode, we are diving deep into something that keeps gamers and tech enthusiasts all glued to the screens. Tech in gaming. But, 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 before I begin, let's quickly do the ritual. If you are new, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure you press the bell icon to never miss our mind-blowing updates. Comment down below if you have any idea about the game engine. Kudos if you know. And if you don't, let me begin with that. Think of the game engine as the backbone of any video game. Just like a car needs an engine to run, games need game engines to bring them to life. There are two giants in this field. Number one is your Unreal Engine. And the second one is Unity. Unity is known for its versatility and ease of use. Perfect for small game developers and mobile games like Pokemon Go, Among Us, Subway Surfers, Monument Valley, etc. And Unreal Engine by Epic Games is known for its jaw-dropping photorealistic graphics bringing life to the gaming world. If you are a gamer, you must have seen its graphics used in the blockbusters like Fortnite and the stunning tech demo The Matrix Awakens. We all know graphics are what makes games visually stunning. High definition textures, real time lighting and shadow effects create the extraordinary visuals we see. But what exactly makes it look so real? That's your top tier graphics technology at work my friend. In today's gaming world, top tier graphics technology like ray tracing is being used. Imagine a virtual painter meticulously adding light, shadows and reflections in real time as you play. That's ray tracing. That's about the look and the feel of the game. But what about the brain? How does it function so well? I have two words for it. Artificial Intelligence Have you ever wondered, apart from your character in the game, how everything around you looks real too? That's the AI at work. It is what makes non-playable characters, NPCs, smart. If you have played FIFA, now known as EAFC, you might have noticed how the defenders adapt to your every move. This adaptability is driven by AI, making the game both challenging and fun. AI analyzes your gameplay and adjusts the behavior of NPCs or CPU opponents in real time, simulating realistic and unpredictable human-like responses. This dynamic interaction ensures that each gaming experience is unique, keeping you on your toes and fully immersed in the game. Now, let me ask you a silly question. Is gaming all just about you? Are you the only player playing alone? Told you, it was a silly question. Obviously no, right? So what about your friends playing alongside with you? How come you can ask them to land on Pochinki without any lag? Be it FIFA or PUBG. How do their function and yours get synced so effortlessly? Any guesses? That's your robust online systems which come into the picture. They ensure smooth, lag-free multiplayer experiences. Servers, cloud computing and real-time data syncing are what make these smooth transitions possible. These technologies power the 3D gaming world. But what about the world beyond 3D? The future of gaming is not just about watching and playing anymore. It's about living the experience. And now it is possible because of virtual reality and augmented reality. VR immerses you in a 360 degree game world making you feel like you're truly inside the game. AR on the other hand brings game elements into the real world, blending digital objects with your physical environment. For example, take IB Cricket. It is the world's first metaverse cricket league which allows players to use VR technology that comes with a VR bat and a VR goggle to play cricket in a simulated environment, allowing for an immersive and interactive experience. Then we have Tesla suit made by a London based company. It's a full body suit that lets you feel physical sensations in the virtual world from a gentle breeze to a punch in the boxing game. You can feel it all, but it won't cause you any harm. Innovations like this make the virtual experience incredibly lifelike and interactive, pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible in gaming. How cool is that? I was once a hardcore gamer too and building a game was a dream for me. I didn't have much knowledge to pursue it but today I know the scope and steps one can take to build a career in gaming. If you are dreaming of a career in gaming tech, let me tell you, there are tons of roles waiting for you. According to the stats, 
In 2024, the video games market is projected to reach a revenue of 282.3 billion dollars. It is expected to grow at an annual rate of 8.76% between 2024 and 2027, resulting in a projected market volume of 363.2 billion dollars by 2027. You can become a part of this fast growing industry too. From being a game developer working on coding and creating these virtual worlds to being a graphics designer crafting those stunning visuals you are in luck you can also try your hands on becoming an ai specialist which is in high demand now and that's not it there's even room for vr and ar developers as this industry continues to grow show us some love and hit that like button comment below the game you play the most and share it with your friends that's all for today guys this is varshit signing off bye